Welcome back to Art Book Reviews. This is episode 49. And today I've borrowed some art books from my mate's special editions as he collects all the Fire Emblem special editions. I've put these together as one uh, video just because we've already done the standalone big purchasable Fire Emblem Awakening art book. So therefore, it seemed a bit pointless trying to do that one again. But. We haven't done Fates, I don't think there's an independent Fates one, at least not around in the UK, exactly. Um, although, admittedly, I never finished that one. I was doing Birthright Rate, was I? And I got so far and I just... I don't know, I just, this one didn't hold me. But it was probably because I had split in the fridge with Pats and then you know, like, oh, this character dies in this room, this character doesn't die in this room. Mm -hmm. It was really annoying. But we'll start off with Awakening. Um, I will point out that these will be a lot more expensive to buy these art books now. Um, due to just how special editions work. This one though is pathetically small. Um, I mean, you're not getting much in this uh, one. You get the character, a few heads, little poses, the same way like the uh, Awakening one. The standalone one, shall I say. Yeah, it's nice. A little bit. Screenshot. Some of the characters. Yes and all. Some cute little scenes here we get there. Um, it's a bit more of the characters. And then. That's not even all of them, to be fair. It's not even all the uh, playable ones you got. You got Jiro, but you know, not the only child you get other than I think Jerome's a child, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, you only get, you know, one why did they just pick him? It's such a weird thing that they just randomly just picked him and just him and then one of the more smaller side quest characters but didn't pick some of the other ones. It's very weird, it it, it just feels very slapped together. I mean, it does show up nicely. You got a full reach, you don't have any problems with crease, middle bit. Yeah. So, I mean, it really does feel like a sample, and it is. It's a sample for the full art book, and that's the problem. And you pay quite a bit of money to get this in. I'm sorry. Put that down. Um, in special edition and, it, and that's how you get it it's very lack of smith's nice look cover but if you're gonna buy uh but for fire Emblem awakening buy the independent one the, the, the standalone one's far cheaper than this will probably cost you um i think a sauce one tries like 50 quid this you could buy the other one for like 30 that's a complete thing so this one rubbish um now the fates one on the other hand is a bit more because i know that there isn't one to um do a full one of so yeah very far better cover far nicer it's also well fully open not as easily mind you but it's a bit thicker uh, so we start off fairly all right a couple like screenshots from the Games cutscenes, and then we get, you know, some little sketch bits of the character. Obviously, if it is a full big one, you could do far more of that, but for a small one, I guess it's reasonable. But you compare this to the Waking, which is actually a bigger size as well. On some of these characters, you're not getting very much. I think I've killed my own argument there. Also, corrected there, but. You get a good level of these. Um, a lot of people's favourite character. So you get some nice detail on the characters. But the question I've got here now. Is it only going to feature certain characters? Well, we get some a little bit of bait outlines. And let's be honest, it's just outlines of some of the characters here. Now, I wonder if they got the character my guy ends up marrying in here. So, 
so far I'm not seeing them. No, I don't think I've done it. Scarlet was the character, my character married. And she's not in here. So give me the same issue where it's some of the characters, but not all of them. Which, if you like certain characters, it's a bit sad, really. It's nice landscape ones, but again, the issue with those is because it's a small book. A lot of details lost. Quite nice detailed sketch, though. It's been quite, it'd be quite a good one as a full art book, but it is only a sample bit of gear stuff, mechanisms, and sketches. Time of all the games. And that's it. Again, just like this one, it is a sample book. Better. Bit a bigger sample book, but from the price I've seen online, people wanting quite a lot of money for these, and it isn't worth it. Eh. I've just started to grow fed up with these some of these special edition art books with come with games because they're so lackluster. The amount of money that they value these, um, you know, they reckon I think the average art book I've seen in games they reckon it adds up to 30 quid onto them but these are not 30 quid material i mean this one there's no point getting this one this is a, this is a lot waste of time this one is this one's definitely a five pound i would have said um if you really like uh fates but it just leaves you wanting more especially if i could say if you want certain characters which just aren't in there Enemies, you want to see enemies, you want a bit more detail on the weapons. It's just a sample. And it's just quite sad. That a game like this, which gets so much cool stuff. Um, there's so much detail you could do with it. You can make really good art books out of the five of them series. I mean, remember Crow, I remember being disappointed with the Awakening one, to be fair. This was frustrating. There's so much potential, and it just and it's just not utilised. Uh, anyway, I'll stop bringing the house down with my misery guts personality, and I'll end it there. So, until next time, goodbye.